Our concern today is these are both Nigerian brands. These are both entities that are employing Nigerians. And, and so, like my appeal at the beginning was, if government should find a way of stepping in, because the more you keep hearing negative news from both brands, the more you're demarketing the Nigerian brand. And, and so, government should find a way of coming in. There are issues you can resolve by sitting down for one hour that you cannot resolve in court for three years. And, and so, it is not whether GTB is ready to explore settlement or whether innocent, innocent also is ready to explore settlement. It is what the government wants to achieve. If we say, look, government is ready and look at the warring party and say, you know what, maintain status quo, shit your sword, conduct independent or judicial inquiry into the matter, and if there are criminal infractions, let the court take its course because also you also look at some funds if there is need if funds have been taken illegally and if that's not the case government also should come up with a resolution and say you you are fought here you are fought here we no longer want to hear about this matter let's move forward as as, as a, an independent nigerian business people that's our major concern and and, and, and so it is not about I might, yes, I agree with you, for alternative dispute resolution, the both parties must be ready to resolve. But a situation where, you know, like we have, a government says, look, we want to resolve this issue. No matter how strong you are as a business person, you know, the government is stronger than you. You know, one party might not be willing to resolve. We can't say from this end. But if government says we want to resolve it, definitely government will be able to achieve it. We are saying, look, Let's put ego behind us. Let uh, parties put the egos behind them. Let government also see this. We, this is it, it, for us. We are not blaming government from this part. We are not saying, "Oh, government, you ought to have done." We are suggesting if somebody up there had not, you know, look at it from this point of view. We are suggesting to them that this actually, you know, can work. And as part of uh, as as partners in progress in building Nigeria and in selling and promoting the Nigerian brand, and also promoting local content, this also is a way of you know, contributing to promotion of local content. Our judicial system is in such a manner now that if you are charged for a criminal offense, you don't get bail the same day. You will not come today and fulfill all the conditions. I spoke about it in channel today. We must come to the level that if an accused person is brought before the court, since he's still presumed to be innocent, you must do something that is plausible for him to get his bail and then come back for his trial. You don't go and put him in prison when you have not convicted him, no trial. So that's why some people are afraid coming to okay. faith and at the end they will go and put you in prison and somebody is rejoicing. Sometimes two yeah. weeks to perfect. Yes, him. somebody is rejoicing and I put him in prison, whereas you have not been convicted. So if we can have a system where if an accused person comes before the judiciary today and get his bail and go home and come tomorrow for his trial, every person will want to. But you have to be careful. You don't even know the information at the disposal that is making him to take the step he's taking. But if I'm his lawyer, I'll ask him to come and Nigerians will be watching what will happen. Because at the end, what are you going to prosecute? Is it not evidence? And what evidence where you have written a letter initially exonerating him? So if I were in his shoes, I will come out and face whatever the consequences. Let them, the only thing is that he may be incarcerated for some weeks before the bail condition is perfected because it's a bailable offense. If I'm in his shoe, I will ask him to step out and you know face this once and for all. But I'm not his lawyer. But we are saying that, that we must do things thing that have to affect our economy in such a manner that it doesn't have adv adverse effect. And that's what we are doing today. And we must also ensure that government agency is not used by any person or a group of person to intimidate a citizen, especially when that citizen is contributing enough to the economy. We must not encourage that. We rather encourage peaceful resolution of matters. And that's what we are we're doing. If EFCC have done that, and then the issue now came up that Okay, you are owing me five over five hundred million. Pay me, but you have to pay me at the interest rate you, you borrow the money to me. That was where they were having issues. GTB agreed. Okay, I'm going to pay you, but it will not be at the rate of interest you are demanding. So innocent at that point went to court. It was when he now went to court and got judgment 
that they went back to EFC here. And the same EFC that has exonerated them is now investigating the same matter and now alleging a forgery. So, my brother, I mean, what, how will you how will you feel it? And then you become afraid when you get some information and look, your safety is also an issue. Because he who runs, who fights a runaway, will live to fight. It's only a tree. You will take, you come and see a tree today and say, I'm coming tomorrow to cut you. And when you come tomorrow, the tree is waiting there. So you have to also take some precautionary measures. Now that we have something that is indigenous, and we have somebody that has actually, you know, started something that will benefit the entire country, we must not in any way allow such an individual to die. Just as we have not allowed other brands, you know, the, the, the banking sector to die, we must also try and protect this. If one. Nigeria is serious about selling local brands, both in services and products, these are the best that have come out of this country. GT Bank was started, like we hear, by one person who was just a secondary school holder and a friend, and they built it to one of the best brands in, the, in this whole world, as a matter of fact. And of course, Innocent is a billionaire, but he has only SSC. These are the best stories you can get from anywhere in the world. Two people who were barely educated, building some of the best brands. And I think that the country, as a policy, should be able to do everything to protect them. And of course, guide these legacies that they have built for us. It's very, very important that we do that. And that is the point we are trying to push with this event.